Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Disney Princess 12 Days of Socks Advent Calendar opening kind of thing. I saw a lot of people um, having it, like my friends and stuff, but I kind of had my eyes on it, but then I went to Target today and they had it for like a few dollars off of the 15, so I just decided to pick one up for me. And this is the Disney Princess Edition, and I had to make sure that it was the women's shoe size 4 to 10. Because they had a bunch of these all mixed up because it's the craziness of right before last minute shoppers for Christmas. So I know there's not 10, I mean 12 more days until Christmas. So I'm just going to open it up right now um, one by one for you guys. And then also inside it like has like this little trivia um, for the different princesses for each day. So I'm going to be answering the trivia for you guys. I don't know how good I'll be at it, but hopefully it's good. I just saw it when I was opening it up now. And it's really cute because there's all different kinds of shoes, um, all different kinds of socks in this. So they have like the crew, no shows, and yeah, well those two. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a lot more. So I'm super excited, so let's get started. Okay, let me first, so I already like punched it open because I don't know how to open this, you guys, especially like if I have my nails. I don't know how to open it and it's like really hard like cardboard ish so I don't know I mean if you guys open these with your bare hands like let me know I don't know how to explain it I do just I really had to use the scissors and just like cut it open and it took kind of a while so I didn't want to do it on camera so I did take like a short video a clip I'll show I would insert it right now and it kind of shows what it looks like inside and stuff but I'll show you guys how I like opened it up and it looks really mangled now, but I'm going to show it. This is what it looks like, you guys. This is the outside. It's Disney Princess 12 Days of Socks. And then if you open it, it has all the princess uh, days on it and cute little images. And on the bottom of these, I realized when I was punching it open was that it shows the answers to all the questions. Ooh. Questions on the trivia. So I'll just kind of go through those here, but... I'll kind of answer them and hopefully I get them right. Okay, you guys, and I'm totally off subject. I don't know why. I should have, like, really dressed up more Disney-ish for this, but I was using my Slytherin scarf, and it's getting a little chilly, so I decided to just keep it on, and I totally started forgetting when I started filming to be all dressed up in Disney, so I'm sorry, but the next one I'll be dressed up in Disney for sure. Okay, so let's get this started. So, ooh. Number one is going to be, what are the names of Merida's triplet brothers? Okay, so, um, spilling the tea right now, I've never seen Brave. I've never seen that movie. I really want to, and I saw that on my YouTube TV app that me and my boyfriend share. They will be having Brave on there. I think it comes out on Christmas that I can watch it, so I'm definitely going to watch it then. I never really had a big want to watch that movie i really don't know why i think when it came out or i don't even know i just didn't feel like i had like a connection to that princess at all like i didn't they like, relate to her in any way so i didn't watch it but like the more and more time goes by it's like oh my gosh i have to watch the movie but i don't want to pay to watch it on my tv so i'm gonna wait till it comes out so i can watch it for free on youtube tv but yeah, so I have no idea what their names are, but I'm going to check the answer on the box number one. Give me that. It says, Harris, Hubert, and Hamish. Hamish. I have no idea how you pronounce that either, you guys. I could be butchering it. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. But those little bears are super cute. And then the number one. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't want to go like super close up, but it says power to the ladies. Number one. So number one is going to be, let me bring it out. Ah, okay. And I have to cut it open. Shoot. 
Okay, so this is number one. It's Princess Jasmine. I'll bring it up to show you guys closer. So here's Princess Jasmine. She's so cute and pretty. And this is like classic because um, the new Aladdin live action is coming out uh, soon next year. So I'm super excited. Jasmine was always one of my favorite princesses. Like top five, definitely. Let me kind of like put my hand in it so you can kind of see the full effect so pretty i always loved her big earrings okay okay you guys number one was jasmine princess jasmine let's go to number two two is this one in the corner and it's a beauty and the beast scene with beauty or bell and gaston and she's totally not amused by him or at all but the question let's go through the question it says what is the name of bell's horse so Belle was one of my favorite princesses too, definitely top five. I think she would be number three or kind of tied with Ariel, kind of. It was hard for me to choose. I just related to Ariel a lot because we live in Hawaii. So it's very like aquatic, etc. But personality wise, I'm definitely more of a Belle. So um, her horse's name is Philippe. Let me open this up for you. Get it out. I have to cut it. I didn't realize I had to cut open. It makes sense. I have the little plastic thing to keep the socks together. Ooh, I got Ariel. Okay, it's a little mermaid. I'm going to come up and show you guys again. You guys, so here's the little mermaid socks. And they're the little no-shows again. Let me show you guys what it kind of looks like if I put my hand in it. She's so pretty. This is when she's playing with her hair. This is one of my favorite, like, images of Ariel when she's on the rock um, playing with her hair and looking out at Prince Eric. Ooh, so right away I got some of my favorite princesses. I'm super excited. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get all my favorite princesses because, so if you guys don't really know, my favorites are Rapunzel, Ariel, Belle, uh, Jasmine maybe Aurora I'm kind of blanking right now I'm just looking at the pictures I was like ah oh. but yeah I think those are like the tops but um okay number three day three let me look okay so it's this big bell one Ooh, I'm just holding that up so high sorry guys number three is a bell the bell the ballroom scene with um bell and the beast and they're so beautiful Ooh, sorry something got in my eye Okay, sorry, I had to check my eye. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry. I'm just going to power through. I can't get it out, but I'm going to try and just finish this video. <laughs> so the number three question was, what is Tiana's dream? So Tiana's dream was to open her own restaurant, right? She, like, really wanted that, I think, right? Let me check. Number three, number three. To open her own restaurant. Yeah, perfect. So I actually just saw that movie. I think maybe I saw it once like a long time ago when it first came out. But I haven't seen it like since. So I just watched it again like this year with my boyfriend. And it was such a cute movie. I really liked her um, steadfastness and determination in her dream. So I love Tiana. She's really cute. So number three. I think it's going to be a crew sock because it's going to be a big one. But, ooh, okay, I think it's Maleficent. I mean, I don't think it is. It is Maleficent. But let me open this up. I always get so nervous when I have to cut these plastic things on the sock because I don't want to, like, ruin the sock. Ooh, and it's, like, striped. Okay, I'll come up and show you guys. So here's this Maleficent sock. She looks so feisty. And it's all, like, striped on the bottom. Super cute. Okay, so Maleficent was awesome. She's actually like one of my favorite villains. Um, her and Ursula are like my tops. And then probably the evil queen after that. Just because she's so like regal and she's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so number four. So number four is going to be this little Mulan. Um, one, I'm guessing it's another no-show because it's a small box. And the number four question is, what is the name of Mulan's dog? So, growing up, I loved watching Mulan. I thought she was such an unconventional princess. And she didn't care what anybody thought of her. She wanted to do what was right for her family. 
and her dog was the cutest dog in the world. His name is Little Brother, right? Yeah, Little Brother. Okay, let me pop open number four and get it out, show you guys. Who is this? Ooh, I can't really tell by just looking at it. I have to cut it open. But I like this color. It's like a tan color. I love nudie colors. Oh, it's Aurora. Oh, she's pretty. Okay. Okay, here is... Here's Aurora, you guys. Sleeping Beauty. She's so beautiful. I love Sleeping Beauty. I love the story of Sleeping Beauty. It is a good storyline. The plot is amazing. I wish that she wasn't like sleeping throughout the entire movie the whole time. But I always loved her dress and her hair. I thought her hair was so beautiful. So that's why she's in my tops as well. Alright, you guys, we're on a roll. That was number four. This is taking way longer than I thought it was going to because my eye and then my camera or my memory card. Anyway, number five. Number five is right here. It's the Cinderella scene when she's um, looking. I think this is when she first dresses up when fairy godmother like gives her the dress and she's like oh my god so cute kind of she doesn't actually say that you know i just think that in my head and she's like oh she's spinning but okay so the question is what country does cinderella take place in you know i don't really know i'm gonna guess somewhere in europe like paris or france i don't even know like is that bad i don't know somewhere really pretty because it's a really pretty castle but I'm guessing, I'm going to say like Paris or France, but let's look. Ooh, it is France. Oh, perfect. Okay, so it's France. <laughs> I have no idea. It's because none of them have like accents, you know? I think. I mean, there's Gus Gus, right? So Gus Gus. Yeah, I guess it's totally French. I don't know why I like that. Okay. Let me bring up this one. Ooh. This one is going to be another, um crew sock because it's in the big one the big um box or whatever Ooh, ooh, this one is pretty okay i have to take out all the plastic stuff after it's just i can't all right you guys here's the snow white socks it has the poison apple it's red uh what is this like heather gray they call that i don't really know the classic like apple red bill and it says one bad apple so cute i love it actually like this is perfect for me to like sleep in <laughs> i think i mean i definitely i can use this with my vans probably i definitely have to up my shoe game i don't really have much shoes i have a lot i don't even have a lot of sandals or footwear in general which is sad but i really need to <laughs> up that especially since i have these cute socks now okay you guys so i really like this one i love the colors but let's go on number six so number six is going to be this one, and it has Jasmine talking to Jafar. She's mad at him. I forget what exactly she's saying, but yeah. So let's open this bowl. First, let's do the question. So number six, what is the name of Jasmine's tiger? So like I told you before, Jasmine was one of my favorite princesses growing up because she was so strong and confident and determined in what she and who she was, I guess. Um... Yeah, so and I, Raja was always one of my favorite uh, Disney sidekicks. I actually have a Funko pop of him somewhere. I should bring that out and show you guys that soon. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm, I already know it's Raja. But let me open it up for you guys. Ooh, wait, five, six. Wow, there's two Snow White ones in here. Now, Snow White was never one of my favorite princesses. Um, when I was growing up, she wasn't one of my favorite princesses because she was so passive and because she had short hair. <laughs> I think that's the main thing. It's kind of sad, but I think that's why I didn't really like her too much. But I always loved her dress. Like, her dress was beautiful. So, you guys, here's the Snow White socks. They're, again, the no-shows. And I love these. I can use these all the time. That's why. But um, I love how she's eating the apple. And I always loved her red lipstick, her bowl, and her dress. I always loved Snow White's outfit and her colors. So, yeah. Okay, you guys. So, we have two Snow Whites in here. So, so far, we have two Snow White. We have an Aurora. We have a Maleficent, an Ariel, and a Jasmine. So, let's see who's in box number seven. 
So box number seven on here, it says this princess saves herself. So who saves herself, really? I don't, I mean, I guess Ariel, like here, Ariel and Rapunzel, they kind of do in a way because they do what they want and they follow their dreams on their own, kind of. They have others helping them, like Sebastian and Flynn Rider, but they're very determined in what they want. So I'm pressed because it has their two pictures on it. I'm guessing maybe it's one of them. I'm hoping it's Rapunzel because we already have an Ariel here, but we'll see. And the question is, what has Rapunzel always dreamed of seeing? So Rapunzel's my favorite princess. I love her so much. And she always wanted to see the floating match for her birthday. So let's open it up and see who it is. Ooh, it fell down. Or did it fall down? It did. All right, you guys. Okay. So I'm super confused. I don't know if it's supposed to relate to this or not. But this it looks like another Maleficent sock, and I like it. So here's the socks, you guys. So I definitely don't think this, because she's not a princess, so that doesn't relate to the question at all. But it's a beautiful sock. I love it. It's perfect for Halloween, and I love Maleficent. I love her horns and her lipstick. Maybe I might be a Maleficent next year for Halloween. Okay, guys, so we have two Maleficents and two Snow White. Okay, I hope we get another princess. I mean, I love villains, don't get me wrong. I love villains, but I want to get another princess. I want to get Belle, and I want to get Rapunzel. So let's do number eight. So number eight is this Snow White scene where she's dancing with the seven dwarves in the house or in the cottage. And the question number eight is, how does Pocahontas say welcome? So isn't that Wingapo? We should say Wingapo. I thought that, is that welcome? I don't even know. That's the only thing I think that she says, right? I don't know. Anyway, I think it's Wingapo. Let's look. It is Wingapo. And I actually, like, I remember I had to write this down for something a while ago. And I was just guessing on how it was spelt. And I actually spelt it right that time. It's literally wing apple. I'll put it over here how it's spelled. It's so awesome how it's just spelled exactly like how I say it. But let's um, open this up. Ooh, it's a Mulan one and it's pretty cherry blossom red. Or is there such thing as cherry blossom red? Isn't it cherry blossom pink? I don't know, you guys. Cherry red. Yeah. Ooh, this one is pretty. This is the Mulan socks. And again, it's a no-show. She looks so pretty. I love the flowers. I love this kind of, I love this um, tone of red. It's beautiful. And let me try and put my hand in here so I can kind of show you guys. Since she's in the middle. Oh, she's so pretty. I love her lipstick. It matches. <laughs> and her hair clip. Oh my god. All right, you guys, so, so far, no Rapunzel and no Belle. But we have a, quite a few more, so I think we have four more. So, so eight, nine. So number nine is the Ariel scene where she's um, bargaining with Ursula to go and get a leg to go on land and get Eric. But um, Ursula's like, I want your voice, etc. So that's that scene. And number nine is how many sisters does Ariel have in this film? So like I said before, Ariel was always one of my favorites. Um, I think she has six sisters, right? Six or seven? I want to say six. Um, six. Perfect. <laughs> you guys, I didn't even know, like, these. I didn't even study. I don't even know. But lucky thing, I know a lot of princess trivia. And this one is going to be another crew sock on long one. Ooh. Okay, so this is Jafar with the scorpion. I love this purple. This color purple is so iconic for Disney villains. So here is the Jafar socks. He looks so like regal. There's a little scorpion or beetle or something. It's a beetle. It's not a scorpion. It's a beetle. It's purple, gold, black. Super cute. I love it. You guys, sorry. Coco wants to join again. 
he just jumped on the bed. But okay, that was number nine. So it was weird. I didn't think we would get Jafar in here only because Jafar. I thought this was like, I mean, I don't know. He's the only male thing we have in here. So it's interesting. I do love Jafar. I met him in Disneyland the past time that we went and he was awesome. So number 10. Number 10 is the Sleeping Beauty Aurora scene in, oh, when she's pricking her finger. Sorry, I didn't look at it. No, Maleficent is there and she's pricked her finger and it's done and stuff. So that's all. Oh, let me ask you the question. I keep forgetting about the questions. Number 10, what age is Aurora turning when she pricks her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel? She's 16. I know that one by heart because I was like, oh my god, she was only 16. But that's actually one of the older Disney princesses. Isn't that crazy? I didn't realize they were supposed to be so young when I was growing up. But she young. Let me open this up. We can fall down. This is going to be another no-show, I think. Ooh, and it's one of my favorite baddies. It's Ursula, you guys. Let me cut it open. Show you guys. Here's Ursula, you guys. She looks so cute with her lipstick and her eyeshadow. <laughs> oh my goodness. So amazing. I love this one. I love the stripes and her little necklace. That wretched necklace that had <laughs> the voice in it. Oh my goodness. I really hope we get um, Bella and Rapunzel, but you know, I'm looking at this and they do have, oops. Cinderella on here and I haven't got the Cinderella yet. So they're probably gonna have Cinderella in here. Not that I don't like Cinderella, she's not one of my favorites. But let's go to number 11. Number 11 is gonna be Snow White and the, what do they call her when she's, Old Hag. I always forget about that. But, and she's about to give her the apple and stuff and it's, the, it's one of the most iconic scenes I think in Disney history. But number 11 is what is the first song Snow White sings? Okay, you guys, I haven't seen Snow White in so long. It's hard for me, I think, to like get through that entire movie for some reason. I have no idea. Let me look down to it. I'm wishing. Oh, okay. Is this the one where she's singing at the, what is it called, the fountain? I don't know. If you guys know, let me know down below. I really need to like rewatch Snow White. But let me open it up. Where is it? All right, oh, Okay, so this is like a Disneyland, Disney World one. I like this one a lot. I would like use this when I go to the parks. Here it is, you guys. This is the castle and it says, I run this castle. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's like the Cinderella colors, like blue. And is this Cinderella's castle? I don't know. Yes, it is, I think, because of the clock. Sorry, you guys. I'm really bad. I don't. It's hard for me to tell the castles from each other. But yeah, super pretty. I would definitely use this going to the parks. But you guys, down to the last one, number twelve. And so far, no bell, no Rapunzel, which is cool. Cause I mean, it's okay. Cause all these socks are so beautiful, and I'm so happy. And it's so funny. Cause before, when we were growing up, we would always get socks or. You know, if someone got you socks or underwear, clothes, you're like, oh, I don't want that. Now I'm like, really want that because it's practical and I will use it, especially for work. But let's do number 12. So number 12 is a picture of Jasmine and it says girls are heroes too. Which I agree, we are. And 12 is finish Jasmine's line. I am not a blank to be won. So they just say... I'm not a prize to be won, right? Let's look. Yep, prize, yay. I did pretty good on this little trivia thing. I think I just missed like two or three maybe, hopefully. Ah, all right, you guys, let's see who this is. It looks like the evil queen. Let's look. I like this color, it's like navy, navy blue. Oh, it's a pretty one. Here's the last socks, you guys. Evil Queen, she's so pretty. And I love these little like vines or foliage or whatever's on the side. It's super pretty. It's probably like around her castle, the Evil Queen castle. 
but I love this one. I would definitely use this one a lot. I love her crowns. Beautiful. Alright, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, that's the end of this video. That's all I got for you guys today. Um, thanks for sticking with me and helping me open up my little Disney Princess socks, 12 Days of Socks advent calendar. Um, I always wanted like a legit advent calendar for like so many Christmases. I thought it was amazing and fun how you can open up something every day. But I always tell myself not to do it because it's kind of expensive, you know, but it's fun. And I think I'm going to be doing maybe one of these every year from now on, hopefully. But I'm so happy with all of my socks. They're so beautiful. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys again in my next video.